So the first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything is you're going to enter your Bitcoin wallet address. Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. I appreciate it. So today we're going to look into N plus minor, do a little bit of review, check out how to configure it, benchmarking, things of that nature within the miner. And also it's the enter to win video for Bitcoin Fridays. So stay tuned till the end of the video so you can find out how to enter this week's Bitcoin Fridays. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. Now let's get into it. All right, so N plus miners, somebody brought this up. I don't know if it was in a comment of a previous video or in a Discord, but I finally got around to looking into it. And the reason being is I'm always on the lookout for the latest and greatest profit switching miners, something that I can add to my Miner Cup series. So I went ahead and downloaded this N plus miner and decided to see what it was all about. So we're going to go ahead and jump into my NVIDIA rig and take a look at this miner real quick. And then I will show you guys how to enter this week's Bitcoin Fridays. Let's check it out. All right, real quick before we go on guys, have you heard of N plus miner? If so, just type a simple yes below. If not, just type a no. I'm always interested to know your guys' thoughts and what you guys know or do not know about out there in the cryptocurrency space. So do that real quick and let's go ahead and dive in and check out this miner. So here is the actual miner up and running. If you want to go ahead and download it, there will be links as usual down below this video. So in plus miner 5.4.1 zip is what I downloaded. And I went ahead and put it in its own folder like I usually do. Unzipped it, called it in plus miner. So you just go into there and again into another folder. And then you would scroll down and double click on N plus minor and it will pull up. It'll ask you if you want to run Windows Shell. You just click yes and it will go ahead and pull this up. Now initially on the surface, it's pretty bare bones looking minor as far as a GUI interface. So once it pulls up and gets going, it will begin to benchmark various algorithms. I'll go ahead and click on benchmarks right here. So it's got a long list of different algorithms, coins that it can mine, and it will go through all of these different algorithms and various pools that the algorithms are on. And of course, it will see what's the most profitable coin to mine, like the other profit switching miners, and it will hop on that actual coin. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything is you're going to enter your Bitcoin wallet address in this little window right here. Once you have that entered, you know, whatever Bitcoin wallet address you use, just make sure you put it in right here. You enter it there, you're going to go over to config and you're going to click save config. So once you do that, you should be good to go because it comes pre-populated with the developer's wallet address in there. So you're definitely not going to want to mine, be mining and not get any of the rewards. So yeah, first things first, go ahead, click on config, put your wallet address in there and click save config. So let's head back over to run. It looks like it's every 240 seconds, which can be changed in the config settings. It will go through and refresh and see what the most profitable coin is to mine at that time. And then of course it'll pull up that actual miner and start mining on it. Yeah, I am mining Lyra 2v3 right now with CC miner claws. That's what's going right now. Got about 177 mega hash on that. And as you can see in this little console window, this is loading miner, comparing miners and pools. So again, like I said, every 240 seconds, it's constantly going through and finding the most profitable coin to mine. Although on the benchmarks, it did not benchmark Ethash for some reason. Maybe I'll have to go back in and rerun benchmarks. I'm still kind of getting used to this miner, so I'm not really quite sure on how to do that. There is a Discord for this miner, 
And that link will be down below if you want to go there as well. Ask some questions after you go ahead and download it and check it out for yourself. They also have their GitHub here with information. Here's README information right here. You can scroll down and go through a bunch of what is involved there. And then here's a bunch of documentation as well. Again, both of these links will be down below, so don't worry about searching for any of it. So initially on the surface, the verdict is still out. Not quite sure what to think of it right now. Uh, I'm gonna let it run for probably 24 hours and see how that goes. There's one thing I do not like. You can see payment threshold right here. You get paid by the individual pools. So right now, the you've got Zerg pool, Ahash pool, and NiceHash pool. You can add actual pools. If you go over to config, select or deselect any of these pools. These ones that are already selected are already pre-populated. But like I said, there are other pools here that you can go ahead and select. And of course, it's going to go ahead and benchmark those pools and the coins on those pools again. And the pools are what actually converts it to Bitcoin for you. So if you look at the payment threshold right here, on Zerg pool, you're going to need 0 0.0025 BTC to get an actual payout. And as you can see, it won't be till December 4th when I estimated to get my payout. So on the surface, not looking too good as far as profitability in comparison to the other miners. But like I said, I'll let it run for 24 hours and we will see what it actually does. So that's the brief overview of N plus Miner. If you guys do go ahead and download that, let me know what you all think down below in the comment section. Again, with also whether you've actually even heard of N plus Miner. I would like to probably add this to my Miner Cup series, but Verdict will still be out on this right now. So Bitcoin Fridays, we're going to go ahead and head over to my website right here. Again, this link will be down below. Bitcoin Fridays giveaway 10-18-2019. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you're going to, as usual, you're going to have to answer a few questions. What miner did I review in this enter to win video? There's only one right answer. So once you go ahead and enter that correctly, you just enter your name, email address. Then you're going to have to confirm your name and email address. Then when you come back, you'll be able to get additional entries into the contest by following me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. There'll be a video there as well that you can watch to get even more entries. I think 15 more entries, which seems to go a long way as far as entries into the contest. So again, all the links will be down below everything I've talked about in this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, also put those down below as well. I'll be sure to get back to you. Again, if you guys do go ahead and download this miner, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'd be interested to know your guys' thoughts on that. If you guys missed my latest Miner Cup series, that should be popping up here in a second. Be sure to go ahead and check that out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hammer those likes. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.